guys welcome back to the channel if you're new subscribe if you're not new i thank you um for the regular viewers commenting and so on i know you're being kind and being helpful and encouraging so i really appreciate that i know that you got better things to do than to watch my videos <laughs> but anyway uh this video is on i guess you could say it's a mod but um i thought it was an original thought it turns out there's probably a thousand videos on this already so go figure but i'm going to post this video anyway since i didn't see it before and i thought of it and i just want to go to put the video up anyway what i'm talking about here is can you see the two bolts and the rubber that's rubber i got off of a uh a mud flap off of a a huge backhoe and it's very hard and thick but flexible and i put one of these on every paddle or fin whatever you want to say i put loctite on there put the bolts on and put about a, uh, a 16 inch clearance from the paddle to the housing right you can see that there you can see that the rubber is wore down now because this year we've really used the snowblower every day for about a month and a half i mean uh, we're we're bombarded with snow this year anyway uh do this at your own risk i take no responsibility for it do it work you bet your hiney it works. Oh, it works. This machine started last year, would throw the snow maybe 20 feet, right? It's advertised for 30, and it, it, it probably, I'm going to say 20. I'm going to be generous and say 20 feet. Uh, I could have put the new impeller on there, but I figured I'd try this first. So I just made it up, drilled two holes, put it on. You know a 16 inch from the thing i was thinking maybe when if there's water it would freeze and right the more clear the less clearance you got um you know you don't need as much water for it to free touch the rubber and freeze <clears throat> but usually when i put away my snowblower um i let it run in the shed for a minute with the auger and everything going after it's cleaned out <clears throat> excuse me to get everything out of it, all the water and that. So I never have a problem. I, it did happen once. Um, anyway, uh, where was it? Yeah. So if you're going to do it, do it. Uh, it really worked for me better than original. It's The rubber is wore down now because uh, my driveway is, um, you know, uh, fine gravel. So... Uh, you know it's very abrasive so i didn't expect for that's why the metal fins were wore down um you know in five years that i've had it don't well this would be six season um so yeah put the rubber on it works great if you were thinking about it go ahead you ain't got nothing to lose if your impeller is wore down and stuff um i i'm i'm thinking you can even use uh like steel if you wanted to bolt on a you know a piece of steel or really thick sheet metal it would work but um i find the rubber is very flexible and and does a real good job so anyway guys that's the video um yeah thanks for uh subscribing thanks for watching and stay safe